to collect local data, that is, local knowledge, about the local use of all kinds of forest-based resources. Community forest user groups are involved in social survey to tell about utilization of wood, vegetation, herbs, collection of fruits and seeds, etc. Local names of species and information on observed animals are also collected. Field inventory takes place in remote areas and requires often a camp life. FRA inventory crews are very competent to live in nature and camps will be established quickly to support resting and overnighting in the field. Logistical support is always necessary and FRA vehicles bring a lot of products and necessary tools to support camp life. Evening activities give good and needed relaxation to crew members. All data are recorded to field computers either in the field, camp or office. All data is geo-referenced and the location of plots will be checked from topographic maps and satellite images. Recorded data are processed and analyzed to prepare statistical data of all Nepali forests. Soil samples are processed and analyzed in soil laboratory. Specially, the chemical content and soil carbon is determined therein.
Forest Information System is mostly based on open source tools and applications. All collected data, including some historical data, are stored in database system and can be used locally or by internet-based data sharing system. System modules are supporting various kinds of applications to use the data and prepare required reports. FRA Nepal project has established together with DFRS a Nepal Forest Information Service to provide data products. Based on topographic maps, satellite images and field data, various forest cover and thematic maps are produced. Interpreted and segmented satellite images have been processed into maps, which are serving small area maps for CFUGs and other stakeholders. Based on topographic maps, satellite images, field data and biometric models, statistical data of Nepali forest has been calculated. Previous inventories have produced a lot of publications to present the results and published research articles. FRA Nepal project is still in early phase and it has prepared only few publications either independently or together with partners. Some examples of old inventory publications and the new ones can be shown. Field inventory training is one of the basic training courses to learn about inventory methods, measurements, data collection and use of equipment. Some special equipment requires more detailed training program and a lot of practicing. GIS and RS training program is a very comprehensive training course to master software, tools and applications while processing and analyzing collected field data or satellite-based data. When we started, uh, we were looking very carefully at the political situation. Uh, but it has not put, I should say, any obstacles on the, on the work. First uh, challenge was uh, to have the proper and applicable uh, inventory design for Nepal. And then later on, of course, uh, to have the inter, uh, how to say, inventory crew members, because the deal is that the Nepali government will provide us inventory people uh, for the field. But now the situation is very good. We have 60 people from the government of Nepal, and uh, that has helped us. Uh, other way, I should say that uh, our teamwork has been very, very good and improving all time. And also all our supporting organizations, ministry, uh, departments, especially Department of Forest Research and Survey have worked very well. And also uh, what has been very good situation is that in the embassy of Finland, mm -hmm. we have uh, forest specialists. So we can handle all uh, challenges, issues, whatever, uh, here locally, and that is very good. So we have organized in such a way that, even in the project document, it's mentioned that uh, the people from, the staff from other departments, like one of the big departments is the Department of Forest, under the Ministry of Forest and Soil Conservation. Likewise, uh, we have the staff from DPR, especially in botanist and ecologist, to identify the basically plants and other and soil work. So we have a few staffs from other um, departments as well, like our Soil Conservation Department, and even Ministry. We have uh, two person from the ministries as well. So in total, we have uh, around 54 staffs who were involved in the FRA activities. The output of this project is used in the strategic level in the national, and even in the project level, like um, this, this project, when, you, when they design their own strategies. So they will refer around, they will quote the data that we produce. FRA establishing a network of permanent sample plots, PSPs, that gives an opportunity to monitoring of status of Nepali forest while re-measuring the PSPs. What is needed is the institutionalization of periodic forest monitoring and MRV of RED+. Plus. For the efficient data sharing, Nepal Forest Information Service has been established to provide forest data to everyone in Nepal. 
FRA data and results are forming the basis for master planning, forest policy formulation, forest strategy building and all legal frameworks in forestry.